Hi everyone, welcome to Think Woodworks. I'm Izzy Swan and today I'm back out in the garage working on that router machine I'm building. And uh, in the last video I posted we made these wheels right here out of hockey pucks. And today I'm going to build the track system that's going to actually do the lifting. It's going to lift this table out of the machine. And instead of using a drill to actuate the entire lift, I'm going to use this um, linear actuator. Okay, for those of you who don't know, linear actuator or linear actuation just means a straight line. It means the piece moves, actuation means it moves, and linear means in a straight line. So this rod right here actuates out and in. Um, the motor here drives that, and it's about a, it's a four inch actuation, and it has 900 pound thrust, or it's capable of lifting 900 pounds. Oh yeah, you actuate so good, baby. Did I say that out loud? So to, we're going to use this in lieu of the, the drill that I used for the lift. Let's take a look again at how that drill worked. So now we're just going to, instead of using the drill, we're going to use this linear actuator. I got this off eBay for 30 bucks. This was a, uh, a lift for a wheelchair uh, lifting device on a vehicle. And it's a 24, 24 volt system, so I got a, a 24 volt power supply, and I ordered a reverse polarity switch that's not in yet, but we'll just make do until it gets here. I've already cut out the pieces that I'm going to use to make the lift out of, and they're inside of here. I have another two over here. And the, the wheels we made will mount right in there, and they'll ride along the top, and when this thing moves, it'll have a nice smooth movement, we hope. So, I placed these in here, and to lay everything out perfectly, I've done a little diagram here on the um, workbench. Because I build off the cuff without plans, occasionally I need to diagram something, especially when I'm dealing with precise measurements. And any time I'm doing really precise measurements, I measure in metric. It's just easier to do the math. Uh, here's a little skill builder for you. When you need to get really accurate measurements on the inside of a build, a box, a wall-to-wall, -wall, whatever, you know, you put the tape measure up against one side, and on the other side, it kind of just floats there, so you're left to kind of guess a little bit. In order to, to get a real accurate measurement, just take your tape measure and measure over, in this case, I'm going to measure over 400 millimeters, put a mark, and then measure from the other side to that mark, and that's 230 millimeters on the dot. So now I know I have a 630 millimeter in, and that's a great way to get really precise measurements on the inside of when you're measuring from inside to inside on a, on a box or a cabinet or anything. Okay, on this diagram, these little blue shaded areas indicate blocks I need to build. Now I need to build two, one for each side. Uh, what's happening here is I've got, oh, there's one with the wheel in it. The, wheel that we, the wheels we made yesterday, like right here, are going to ride up against the top of the uh, inside of this box. And this side is going to be fixed, both top and bottom. On the, on the left side here, it's not. It's just floating, which is fine for when you want to lift the table. The lifting action requires, you know, requires nothing. But when you're pulling down on it, what's happening is because these two positions are fixed, they're actually pulling the table down. And over here, the table's just floating. So what could happen is, even though the table's built really tight tolerances to fit inside the other one, that side pulling down and this side just floating could cause a pinch. So to keep that from happening, I need to build a track that an additional bearing is going to ride in. So when this thing is actuated, it's going to actually also pull down on the left side as well, both top and bottom. I haven't figured out what to do with the bottom yet. I'll figure that out after I install the track. Okay, so now that I've got everything laid out as far as I need to go so far, did that make sense? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut those blocks out and get the rest of the holes drilled and everything nice and precise in the track and then we'll put it in and see what it looks like.
Okay, I got it installed. It's working, everything seems to be working right. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and install the linear actuator, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing upright and try it a few times just to make sure it's tracking right and everything is working like it's supposed to. So I've taken the, the actuator and I've extended it to its full, to the full um, length, and I'm just gonna put a mark over here and cut it off. And then I'm going to just put it through this hole I drilled and drill a hole through and just top the, you know, I'll drill a hole through both the wood and this and put it all together and then mount it here and we'll give it a shot and see how it behaves. And everything was going so well. So while I was uh, drilling a hole in this, I didn't, didn't use my vise, you know, because I do that sometimes and I got a little, little slice there. <laughs> first time. So that was the first time for everything. All right, so I've got this little piece of angle steel that I could put the hole in and I'm going to mount that right here. And this is what we're going to attach the, um, the thing that moves in and out. That's <laughs> Boy, I'm, I'm having another bad word day today. So. All right, I've got everything wired up. I haven't tried it yet. I'm excited to see what happens. Let's, uh, let's find out. <laughs> That's cool. Is it wrong that something like this really makes me happy? <laughs> Should have five inches of rise, if I did my math right, and it will stop all by itself. Woohoo, five and an eighth. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a little slower than I had hoped. I'd hoped it would be a little bit quicker, but I'm okay with that. Not bad for 30 bucks off of eBay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's watch that one more time. <laughs> hey everyone, thank you very much for watching. You know, if you're new to my channel, um, I've got 166 other videos and some pretty crazy ones. I'll put a few um, I'll put a few links in the description box below to some of my favorite ones. And uh, also, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to be doing more with this build here very shortly. The next thing we're going to do with this is build a linear track system for a router. So uh, I hope to have that video up in a few days. Thanks for watching, everyone.